Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about how to become DevOps. So first of all we must understand that what is DevOps, what all tools are used. But before starting this video I'm, I would like to request you to, to please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos. Okay. So what is DevOps basically? DevOps is basically most popular profile which is uh, booming up nowadays and so many organizations are preferring to hire rather than ops or developers so people are prefer to work, like hire DevOps reason being those developers can perform all the tasks which are assigned to either developer or to operation guys so this is two in one profile like develop this is combination of developer and operation guy this is basically a blog which i wrote on medium so if you would like to go i would definitely share the link of this video this uh, blog in description box you can read it out there as well if you want but for now i'm going to explain within a while fine so first of all you should understand that why devops it means when developers develop their code and that has to go to production environment so once that is doing well, once that is working fine, so who has to take care of that? Who has to own that particular responsibility? Developer says right now development is completed. So now you need to take care of operation guy says first of all let it come to uh, uh, like production servers only then after we will take care of. So who is going to be a bridge between developers and operation guys? So that particular bridge is made of DevOps team. Fine. So now let me tell you if you want to really be DevOps or if you are looking forward to become DevOps so you should have hands on on couple of tools because DevOps is just a methodology which is taking care of uh, modern modern SDLC it means software development life cycle fine so what all tools are required to become DevOps first of all you need to have hands on on the Linux operating system it means all the available tools which are being used by DevOps so most of tools are installed on Linux operating system so at least you should have hands-on experience on Linux operating system so for learning Linux you can subscribe to my channel as you already know that I have already created some tutorial for Linux itself okay then after AWS so Amazon Web Services is second tool because most of organizations which are medium grade or medium level or small la small level organizations so these are these organizations are running their environment on cloud computer cloud itself that cloud could be Amazon that could be of your know, Google Cloud or that could be of Amazon and uh, maybe Microsoft Azure maybe Google, uh, Digital Ocean that could be your uh, any other so when we are talking about cloud computing so at least AWS you should know because this is like uh, GUI based tool and uh, you can manage all the services on the platform of AWS easily so AWS should be known to you if you want to become DevOps after that Docker so basically we have three types of environments first of all is your uh, physical server second one is virtual machines and third one is your containers so Docker is most popular topic and this is hot topic as of now in the market because most of organizations are just trying to switch to uh, Docker containers or maybe Kubernetes fine so docker is third one technology which you should know at least reason being because if you know docker so you will be able to utilize your infrastructure in a proper manner fine so when we come to con uh, fourth tool so that is jenkins so if you are looking for interview questions of jenkins so obviously you will be asked one question that what is ci and cd it means continuous integration and continuous deployment so when it comes to continuous deployment so jenkins is used when it comes to continuous integration so ansible is used so these tools are uh, like working all together uh, there are multiple plugins available with jenkins which can uh, trigger jobs which are written in ansible fine so like jobs are known as playbooks so you can go through that that what are playbooks how to write them and just for basic i'm telling you that how can you be devops because DevOps is not a particular tool or technology which you can learn and you can become DevOps. DevOps is basically a combination of multiple tools. If you know all the tools, you can call yourself as DevOps. Reason being, DevOps team is always eager to learn new technology and they are always open for open source tools. Fine. That, uh, after Ansible, so why Ansible? Ansible is used for CI, it means continuous integration. You can integrate 
couple of servers within within minutes only maybe you have 500 servers and you want to change their uh, maybe host names or maybe you want to uh, change your dns server or maybe you want to change gateway so whatever you want you can perform within couple of minutes only using ansible tool fine so rather than ansible so many people are asking for chef and puppet as well so what if someone is going to ask you that okay we are working on chef or maybe puppet so you can simply say that you can automate all the stuff using Ansible. Reason being because Chef, Ansible and Puppet are almost used for similar. But obviously Chef and uh, Puppet's, uh, Puppet are more powerful than Ansible. But most of uh, tasks which are required to be performed in the, in the case of CI. So these can be performed using Ansible itself. Okay, then after Git, so many people used to call it Git as well. This is known as SCM. It means source code management tool. Whenever developer develops their code, so they have to keep it on centralized repository, which is known as Git. So Git should be known to you that like uh, what components are there of Git. Maybe you should know that why do, we, why do we create project? Why do we create repositories? Why do we have multiple branches within single repository? Like what is relevance of master? maybe uh, stage or maybe uh, development branch within git why uh, that how does your head work what is the relevance of index in your uh, particular git so that should be known to you after that couple of organizations are looking for monitoring tool as well so maybe that could be nagios that could be jabex that could be your app dynamics that could be your any other tool so these sort of tools you should know reason being because until unless you know monitoring you shall not be able to monitor infra once your developer have developed the code you have put it into production and you do not know how to monitor that you do not know that how to check whether the code is serving properly in production or not so how would you check using a monitoring tool so maybe jabex maybe nagios maybe app dynamics or maybe another tool so whatever tool you prefer you can use that for but uh, obviously you should have at least hands on with maybe nagios or with javix one of monitoring tool you should know just to become devops fine after that elk it means elastic search log test and kibana so elastic search is used for logs it means uh, your you store your data in json format here log test is used for push logs to elastic search and kibana is dashboard for your log test fine then after db at least you should know a couple of dbs if you are going to work as uh, obviously devops so at least you should have basic understanding of oracle mysql postgresql sort of databases now one final so if you really want to become a devops so at least one scripting language you should know that could be bash that could be uh, python that could be perl so either of language your scripting language you should know just to become devops fine so uh, these are the some these are tools basically which you should know at least just to become devops because devops is really booming because devops is combination of development and operation profile you should be ready to uh, learn new tools because uh, just today only uh, i got to know that people have started asking in interview like what uh, earlier what was happening actually that uh, they used to ask that we are hiring for such a person who is working on these tools which we are going to use or which we are using. Just today I got a call and the interviewer was asking that what all tools you are working on. So I had to explain that these tools which I'm working on currently. So this is how interviews are taken because they are looking for such a candidate who has hands on experience on more and more tools. Reason being because they do not want to hire master of one because they want to have jack of all and master of one so you should have hands-on experience on all these tools and at least linux is such a tool which you should have great hands-on experience and quite good enough exposure to your operating system reason being all the tools whatever you are going to install are supposed to be working with your this particular profile only or this particular fine so that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server gyan and if you have further question that how to become how to start and what all stuff is required to learn devops so please do let me know just do write in comment box and i will definitely share this url of this uh, this blog in description box you can read it out once again if you have any doubt and please do like share and comment these videos with your friends so they can also think of becoming devops if they have if they are eager to learn Thank you very much. Have a good time. Happy learning. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon. Thank you very much. Have a good time.